when I'm getting ready to do a painting, I have a spiritual world that I tap into. I really do. Mm. I have to depend on my soul. <laughs> this is deep, but that's how I feel about it. And this environment that I'm in in this house, to be able to get out and walk in these woods. I'm very visually alert all the time. Always looking, looking, seeing, seeing. And have the water nearby. I love looking out at water. It's very important to me. It rests my eyes. I need a place to rest my eyes. I could sit out and look at it forever. I just, I'm never bored with it. I want to know if it's outside and it's growing. I want to know, feel its roots, where it's coming from, how, what's its inside. You can't paint the truth of it unless you really, really see. It has to come from inside me. Always had a journal. All the years I've had a journal. I put in the journal everything from recipes to um, how I'm feeling physically and mentally. I have to really um, get inside myself to do these, this painting now. The, it was very hard because the painting had to have the subject of the Blue Ridge Mountains. I, I'm not a mountain person unless I'm on the Jaws of Death skiing on one, and then I like it. But I'm now, here we are, I'm painting, and I don't have a subject to look at. I, there's nothing. So then I was um, made to go back to the sounds of the, uh, paint, of the music and mainly the words. Blue Ridge Poem by Harriet Monroe. Still and calm. In purple robes of kings, the low-lying mountains sleep at the edge of the world. The forests cover them like mantles. Day and night rise and fall over them like the wash of waves. Asleep they reign, silent they say all. Hush me, O oh slumbering mountains, send me dreams. So I painted words, period. That's what I'm going to show you, I painted words. It was unique to me. So here am I with this gigantic canvas. They wanted it to be huge because of the audience being able to see it. And I had to really settle down and become lonely, vast, in purple robes of kings in the poem. Making that up now, mind you. <laughs> I'm trying to get from deep purple to here, a deep green. Impossible to do without a transitional valley in here. And I'm coming across trying not to do all trees and there are steps to it. You have to have steps. But then my whole life now is just, seems like it's steps. Little pieces. This house is a piece of me. My family, my vital family, that's who, they all support me, my children. I was a good mother, I hope, and Good, a good wife, and I want to be a good wife now, and um, they, they are important to me. It's a very big part of my, my life, is my, my girls, and my son up in Maine, picture of it. Who would have such a thing? <laughs>